Today, as you saw in the title, um, we are going to be doing a fun summer Shein haul. Um, in the next week, I am going on a cruise. So, um, I am going to be wearing these clothes on my cruise. That's mainly what I got them for. Uh, but in today's video, I'll be showing you what I got. I'll also link the Shein website down below if you want to check it out um, and find these items for yourself as well. Um, but without any further ado, let's go ahead and look at the clothes. So the first top I got is this knit bandana white knit top. Um, it's backless, so basically you put it on the front and then you put the uh, straps around your neck and then tie them in the back. So it's like backless, but it has little strings that tie up around. I'm going to use it as a shirt, but also as like a swimsuit cover up. So I think it's going to be super cute for that. It's also really breathable and um, light. So it's not going to be too heavy like a knit you would think a knit would be like. Um, it's pretty light and it would be great for summer. So after I show you what my product looks like, I will show you what it looks like on the model from the website. The next thing I bought is this super cute knit dress. It's also kind of like a cover up um, and it's this is what it looks like in the back. Um, the straps look longer on the hanger than they really are, but anyway, it's like a beige and white and it's super cute. I'll show you in just a minute what it looks like on, um, but it is kind of see-through so you will want to wear something underneath it. That's why I said it'd probably be the best like cover up. But um, if you put like a slip or something underneath, then it could be a great dress as well. It is a little bit short, so if you're not into um, short dresses, then you may want to wear a um, pair of pants underneath or some leggings or something like that. The next item is this halter top. I don't, I'm not sure if you can see it very well like this, but it does, it's like a halter. It ties around the neck um, in the back, so you can adjust the strap as well. Um, and then it's uh, got a small back, so um, it's basically backless when you wear it except for the smaller bandeau. And then it has a little ring in the front, so there's a little bit of a peekaboo moment if you want to say that. Um, but it really doesn't show much of anything, and it's actually longer on than you'd think it is. So Anyway, um, even if you're looking for a modest look, if you pair this with um, a high-waisted jean or skirt or something, it'll cover. Next, I got this gingham set. This is what the shorts look like. They're paper bag waist and they have the tie around belt that you can put in a bow in the front. And then the shorts on the back are just the same. There's no pockets, unfortunately, on the side or on the back, but, um, it would be a really cute uh, outfit to wear with like a black purse. Um, so here's the top. It has little ruffles on the shoulders and it's a V neck as you can tell. And then on the back it's kind of open except for the little tie that you can do in the back. So you can tie it up in a bow as well like the shorts um, except this time it would be in the back. So I'll show you what that looks like. Now I am taking a friend with me on this cruise, so I went ahead and got us matching sets. So hers is this blue floral print, um, but it is the same cut. So it's the regular shorts that are flowy, paper bag waist with the bow in the front. And then the top is this v-neck, um, as well as the tie in the back with the ruffly shoulder. Um, but it is the exact same cut as the one you just saw, except it's a different fabric. So first for swimsuits, I got this cover up, which is like a white linen button up shirt. I think that's gonna be super cute on, especially like if you put it over the shoulder with your swimsuit and maybe a hat, take a few pictures, maybe braid your hair. I think that would be so cute and it's a little bit see-through so I wouldn't wear it by itself unless you're gonna wear something underneath it um, but I do think it's gonna be great for a cover-up next I got this super cute one piece I think it has such Barbie vibes with the pink and just the pastel ish colors like neon pastel I think it just screams Barbie and you know the Barbie movie is coming out this summer so um, we're definitely going for Barbie core Barbie vibes this summer and so I thought that this one piece 
was the perfect little one piece that just screams Barbie and as well for like surfing or um, wakeboarding or anything like that this summer I needed a one piece so I went ahead and bought this one um, mainly for the vibes of Barbie core um, but I think it'll also be a great one piece it does have these cutouts on the side so if you're not comfortable with showing kind of your stomach area, then I maybe would pass on this one. But otherwise, you can adjust the zipper. So if you want it to be kind of a v-neck, or if you want it to be all the way up like a button-up would be, then you can adjust that as well. I also got these shorts um, that are swimsuit bottoms, but they're a little bit more modest. So if you're not all about showing stomach and all about showing leg, then maybe you could buy these and they'll be a better alternative to swimsuit bottoms. They're still swimsuit bottoms, but they're more like shorts. Um, and then if they're too long for you, then you can adjust them on the side by pulling up on the straps and then tying them in a little bow. Um, but anyway, I think this is a good modest swimsuit ball. Okay, this one's gonna be a little bit hard for me to show, but it is our last swimsuit. So this is the pattern. This is what it looks like. It is a one piece, but technically it's like a two piece. It's connected on the left side, um, but it is all together. So it is like a one piece. Um, this is basically what it looks like. It's kind of a high-waisted bottom, um, but it still shows some leg, and then it is a one shoulder top. So you still get a little bit of skin showing on the shoulder and on the leg and then on the stomach as well. So it is a one piece if you're looking for a one piece but still want to have a bikini look or a little bit more skin showing. So lastly, we have a really big category of accessories. So I'm going to show you a few accessories and then um, some accessory holders um, as well. So let's get into that. So first I got these three headbands. Um, I got a pink one, a black one, and then a white one. Um, I really like these because they're padded. So they have a little bit of like a height to them. So they stick out um, like a good amount. Uh, when you're wearing them um, in your hair. So it's not just flat on your head, but it does stick out so you can see the color a little bit better. Um, but it, it is a good um, amount that it sticks out. So it's not like too high or too low um, and it shows um, just the right amount. Next, I got this claw clip. It's the typical one everyone's been seeing, um, the pink flowery claw clip. Um, it does hold all of my hair, which is actually a really um, hard thing to find because as you can see, I have a lot of thick hair. And so finding a claw clip that can hold all of it is really, really rare. Um, but this one does open quite a bit and it does hold quite a bit. So it is able to hold all of my hair, which is really great. Um, so anyway, this is what it looks like up close. I love the color of it as well. I think that's the perfect shade of pink. Next, I got this little anklet. Um, I got matching ones for me and my friend. I don't know if you can see that. Um, but anyway, I got matching ones for me and my friend. They have like little flowers on them. I'll show you on what it looks like. I think it's so dainty and cute. Next, I got these um, little flower hair clips as well. Um, they're a lot smaller than the claw clip, obviously. These are more for like putting in your braid or um, uh, just putting in your hair and holding it back just a little bit, um, but they are pretty small. Next, I got these really cool sunglasses. <laughs> they are little hearts and they are black, not brown. I don't know if that's reading on camera, but they are black and um, they are pretty tight, which is good because sometimes sunglasses can run too big and then they're falling off, you know? Um, but these have a really good nose rest as well as um, the sides. Um, the metal does feel a little bit cheap, but for the price, uh, I think they're actually really good quality. Next, I have this other pair of sunglasses that I got as well. And I mean, can you say Barbie core? Like, hello. These are so cute and pink. And anyway, they are like a rectangular square um, shape. 
And then this is what the side looks like, just pink as well. They match on the side on Shein. It said that they were a dusty purple, but they're actually pink. Um, and I think they match really well with like the claw clip and the swimsuit. Um, it is a similar pink. It's not exactly the same, um, but I think they will go well together. One thing I forgot to mention was that these sunglasses always come with a little black case um, and also a cleaning cloth. So I think that's really great because that way they don't get scratched in your purse and you can always wipe them off when you need to. Um, but I think for the price that Shein has on their website, um, a case and a little cleaning cloth are a really great deal um, since they're already cheap sunglasses. Um, to get this with it is a really great deal. Next I got this trucker hat. Um, that's what they're called. It's just like kind of like a baseball cap except it's a little bit different. Um, I put the patch on myself. I bought these patches at a um, boutique. I don't know if you can see that but anyway I bought these patches at a boutique and then I just bought a white trucker hat from Shein and put that on there as well. This is what it looks like up close. It's a little bit disfigured when you get it in the package, so you kind of have to bend it around a little bit. Um, but otherwise, it's really cute. Next, I got these really cute um, like sandals. Um, they are like a beigey white, and then this is more like a um, you know like a brownish cream tan I guess tan would be a better way to describe it but um anyway this is like a creamy beige um instead of white it I believe it did say white on the um website but um it's really not that off-white so I could see it I guess but anyway I think these are going to be super cute for the beach and um perfect for just walking around. The comments said they were really comfortable as well, so I'm looking forward to testing them out and seeing if they are super comfortable, um, as I will probably be wearing these a lot on the cruise. Um, so yeah, we'll see. Lastly, the last thing I got was this um, jewelry case. It is for traveling and you can put your jewelry in the inside. Um, I also put one of these smiley face patches that I got on the top. Um, I saw this at Altered State, like the exact same thing, same product, except it was yellow. And they were selling it for $24. I got this on Shein for like $3, I think, and the patch for 75 cents. So all in all, I probably spent $5 on it. And yeah, um, it's the exact same thing. Like it has the same amount of storage in the inside, same quality, everything. So they're just upcharging at Altered State. Sorry to say it. But if you're wanting something like that from Altered State, then I would highly recommend getting the little case from Shein and then the patch online. Um, I saw these on Etsy for really cheap as well. So um, yeah, I would just get it from there instead. So I believe that's all I got from Shein for my cruise, for the summer, all that kind of stuff. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and comment down below um, the cruise ship emoji. Um, comment and let me know what you want to see next, if you want to see something from me specifically this summer. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this video and seeing all the Shein stuff, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!